across the board in all of our sports, we're going to face a new and energizing competitive challenge. Over the next two days, men, the men of Notre Dame basketball are going to share physical and mental adversity. Prepare yourself for it. This year, I thought at the end of summer school, I wanted to do a little bit something different. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. We brought in this group called The Program. Right, you correct each other, we keep going. Every time I have to stop you, we have to go back to the beginning. Kind of a military-based leadership program. Two-day, grind it out, try to figure out who your leaders are. All right, everybody here, everybody here, everybody here to the middle, to the middle, to the middle. Try to empower those that should be leaders. Five, five, Mount Clemens! Mount Clemens! Going through the program was different, mainly because it wasn't it wasn't just an individual exercise, it was a, a team building exercise that everybody had a part in. It really tested my leadership in every aspect of it. Do not put him down! Do not put him down yet! It's a great team building exercise, and I thought we ended on such a positive note. Last one, boys, last one. Go! Ready! Ready! Attack! Let's go, let's go. And I think we really learned something about our team and about the leadership of our team. Now what was your time? There you go. The great thing about our fall break here at Notre Dame, we have a one-week fall break. So we can go into double sessions, and I think it's during those fall break weeks that we have made great, great progress in our program. Once practice started, I think we all just got excited to get on the court with one another, and then our, our, our competitive nature just picked up. With me especially, for the last two years, I really haven't had a you know someone else who really pushed me like the way Demetrius does. Our, our veteran guards do a great job with the freshmen of teaching us the ways and showing us what we need to do and guiding us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Being competitive as individuals really helped us as a team because we really had those young guys help push the older guys. By the end of fall break, we were backing down the double sessions to the point where on Friday I said, we're not even going in the gym. We're going to have a Mishawaka versus Granger bowling face-off. Today was a chance to get out the gym, you know, bond with the guys. Two days this whole week, you know, guys were tired, and you know, to be able to get out here and smile is a good thing for the whole team. <laughs> I don't know what I just did there, but that like evened it up. Our competitive spirits definitely carried over to the bowling alley. You got this. Go ahead. Are you beating him? No pressure. Come on, Victor. Being two fierce competitors, I wanted to challenge Jaren to a bowling game. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, you know, me and Demetrius just had a little bowling rivalry going, you know, old guy teaching the young guy a little something. You know, it's just bragging rights really, you know, me being able to teach him not to go up against the old guy. Oh! He ended up beating me twice, but I definitely feel like this has been good for us, having a little fun as a team and coming closer as a team as we, you know, kick off our season. Pick it up! We needed a little break from the routine of practice, and I'm looking forward to playing somebody else on Monday night. It's time for the exhibition game. We are just about ready to get underway here. Notre Dame in their home white uniforms. A decent and enthusiastic crowd. Pretty good turnout for the students tonight, and we're underway. Well, the one thing that's been a hallmark of our program is, again, I don't have one and done guys. We have guys that stay four and sometimes five years. Outlet pass to Atkins all alone. He lays it off the glass and in. And there's been great examples for young guys seeing older guys kind of starting to mentor and starting to teach them our system. Demetrius Jackson making his first public appearance in an Irish uniform. Talk about here are things that are important in this program how the way we play, the way we share the ball, our unselfishness. Grant, cross-court pass to Connaughton, shovels it in the corner to Atkins, nice. still cutting Sherman underneath to Burgett, who puts it up and in and gets fouled. Great ball movement. Having 29 assists in our first game really just shows the type of team we are. You know, uh, guys love each other, you know, guys just want to want to share the ball. Grant drives down to the foul line, back out to Connaughton for three, it's good. Having 29 assists really just shows the culture of passing that we have here. I think it just comes with who Coach Bray recruits, and it just translates onto the floor. That has been a continuity here that's kept us really consistent. This year, 
is no different with a freshman class that is very talented and very mature. They don't act like normal freshmen. Now to Jackson, left side Vestoria, the jumper is good, 4-3. Coach always emphasizes that the ball is gold, so especially being a point guard, you just want to take care of the ball. I, mean, I feel like we did a great job of that. Connaughton shovels a baseline to Demetrius, who double pumps and throws in the reverse layup off the glass. In one of the timeouts, Demetrius Jackson says, remember, the ball is golden. I go, gold or golden, I'll take that. But he's gotten the message that we don't turn that thing over. It's very, very valuable. But I think that starts with the unselfishness of our program, the examples of our older guys giving of themselves. Because at some point, we're going to need that freshman class to win and to achieve the team goals that we want to achieve. And that will do it. Notre Dame wins its opening exhibition. And I think this year, there's talent on this Irish ball club.